Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your October 2nd to October 8th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading but we will see what comes up. I want to thank you for your patience and I apologize for the delay. The energies have been so strong lately that I found myself exhausted. Um, this may or may not resonate as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces may resonate with you and other pieces may not. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle for a minute. Alright, I'm just going to zoom that in for you. The basis of your reading is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords says that there's conflicts right now. There's conflicts in your life this week. There's, a, there's some tension. Maybe you're feeling defeated. Um, over something right next to the five of wands it's almost like you're in a competition with somebody looks like there's a lot of strife there could be a third party situation I'm not sure what it is could be with a child and a partner or it could be between be between two potential lovers you know there is a third part there's a you know three's a crowd situation um, and I think that you might have to make a choice between two people and somebody's heart might get broke, might be yours, I'm not sure. Um, but somebody uh, has some uh, pain in their heart, you know. Either it is rejection or regrets or just plain old sadness, okay. Um, we, I do see some excitement here, though. There's definitely some excitement here. Um, we do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius pretty prominently. We do have you, Gemini. And we also, I have, I see that you are stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck in a situation. I'm not sure what it is, but I think that you are you are definitely stuck. And I, maybe you're stuck on making a choice. You just don't know who to choose. You do have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. Maybe you're just like, oh my God, I don't even know what the hell to do. Um, I see that you need to let something go. Something is weighing very heavily on you. And it is just holding you down. And it's, it's, it could be making you feel sick, you know, because it's so heavy. I see that um, you've put a lot of work into something. A lot of work. And, and it seems like... It seems like you have too many responsibilities. It does. It, I, that you take on too much, Gemini. I think that you, and that's what I'm trying to say, that you take on too much. And you're recognized for your hard work. So I think that you, you keep, stay stuck in situations because you're, you're not a quitter. So it looks like you're, you're stuck in a situation because you just don't want to quit. And, um... You accept the challenge. You accept challenges head on. But sometimes they're too heavy to carry around. All right? And it causes, and there may be even some, you know, illness this week, you know, because I think there's a lot of tension. There is. Um, you may even feel the tension in the air. I feel, um, you know, it's really, it comes and it goes because we, we have this tension. We have these conflicts and this strife. 
and and this is you are the, the the twins, the sign of the twins, and that's so this makes complete sense. And then other times, the next minute, you might be feeling very excited and right on top of your game and ready to run and to jump into something and to take a risk and whoo, I'm ready to go and having this uh, uh, abundance of. Uh, What's the word? Vibrancy, you know, that says, whoa. Yeah, and, you know, you might have some a deep attraction for somebody, some sexual attraction this week. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be the fire sign, or it could be the uh, earth sign. Um, but I do see that you, you're, you're, you might be um, acting on your hunches and being impulsive and moving forward and and just jumping into something without thinking okay this week you might because you're you might have these uh desires that are calling your name and you and because of all the tension you know all the responsibilities that you take on you just feel the need you know i deserve this i'm going for it i need this and i'm going for it i deserve it i work hard it's my time. I'm going to go have a little bit of fun. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I mean, you have this tension and you work too hard and you take on too much. And, and you know, you're highly respected for who you are. But then, you know, you still like to have fun too. So you might be like, all right, I've worked hard enough. I've done enough. I'm going to go uh, do something crazy now, you know. So, but it's not a bad kind of crazy. It's a fun kind of crazy. Like you're going to jump into something really fun and it could be very um, sexual. <laughs> I have to tell you, there's some sexual energy here. Um, we do have this King of Cups as well. He's the, He's not the sexual energy, but this is a man or a woman who is very charming and alluring. So you might just catch somebody's eye or they might... Um, you, they might catch yours, vice versa, you know, and it might be like, woo, I'm going after that one. You know what I mean? That's if you're single. If you're, if you are paired up, there could be a lot of excitement in your relationship this week. Um, we do have the magician here. That's about action. That's about attention and power and manifestation. I see you taking action this week. I don't think. I think this is an exciting week for you. Yeah, there's tension and there's conflicts, and you have too many responsibilities and you're a hard worker but I see more excitement than that I do um, I think that you're juggling many many of you might be juggling more than one person um, I'm not sure what the case is or you might be juggling and one person doesn't have to be it could be a child and a partner you know what I'm saying you could be juggling um, your home and your partner. I do see some juggling where in that you could be juggling the conflicts with the excitement, you know, and there just could be a little bit of chaos because you're you're juggling so much. It could be between your work and your partner. I think I already said that. But anyhow, it looks like a very exciting week where you are moving forward and you might be do me, doing so a little impulsively, but I don't see any danger in it. I see that you're, the reason you're doing that is your need to let go for a little while. Yeah, you have too many responsibilities, so you might just need, you know, to release. You know, I, I just need to let go of all this shit for a little while and be free. Have some fun. This is the deck I'm about to deal is my Hermetic Carol. This was the second de deck I purchased a long time ago and I barely ever use it. Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Like I said, there's a very sexual energy here. There is. There's definitely a lot of desires and I think many of you may be jumping put it that way um wheel of fortune this is good luck congratulations and you get the wheel of fortune it means good luck is on its way that you're about to take a change of course whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose 
That's what happens. It's a lucky break for you when the Wheel of Fortune comes out. This is a fire sign, right? And there's fire signs all over here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you also have, you have all the signs. You have, Because now we have the King of Swords. So it could be any sign. The lovers. The lovers. There is some um, uh, attraction this week. Put it that way. And there is like these desires that... There's so, there's so much chemistry and you, your pheromones are probably through the freaking roof and, uh, you're like ready to explode and, um, you're calling in, uh, uh, this. So, um, I think that there's a lot of excitement this week and, uh, there could be a deep attraction between you and another and it might be unexpected. It might just be like, and it's impulsive. I do believe it's impulsive. Where all of a sudden it's like, all right, let's go. Ace of Cups. Be careful. You might fall in love. All right? <laughs> it's true. I see it. Okay? You could fall in love. Be careful. That's what we have this. And it's right connected to the Wheel of Fortune now. And the lovers is an unexpected choice in love as well. Uh, could lead to love. Is that what you're looking for? Hopefully you are. I said be careful. I mean, free will always plays a part. So if you want to jump, jump. What do they call that? Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, many of you want to get jumped. <laughs> I have no filter. Sorry. Okay, seven of pentacles. Well, you've been dreaming about it. Um, success unfulfilled. This is seven of pentacles. This is an illusion. This isn't a dream. This is a dream. Okay. Um, but it's also, um, this is where your hard work pays off. It's finally when you get something that you've been dreaming about or waiting for or whatever the case may be. Um, this is over the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's charming. Just think of it. It's over somebody who is very alluring and charming and sexy. So, you know, it, and this is a man or a woman underneath. It, the, it's always a man or woman energy. But I see that it could lead to love. And there's a lot of passion this week. And, whew, it's hot. Too hot to handle. Okay, it looks like a very, um, in, act on my hunches, urges, get moving. Uh, let's do this right now kind of week. Let me get you one of my whispers of love. Oh, there it is. Flipped out. One card. You still can't see it, can you? I hate it when that happens. Still moving, but sorry, I like to get it right. Choose love. Twenty one. It really could lead to love. It really could, and I have to tell you that because when I looked at that clock just now, it said thirteen thirty three. Three three three. Your prayers have been answered. Pay attention. Be careful. You could fall in love. <laughs> you could fall in love. Anyway, I mean, you may want that. Choose love is what came out. You always have a choice as to what you should do. When you choose love, negative feelings will have no place in your heart. There's always a choice. Telling and retelling a negative situation will not heal it. Surround the situation in love. Choose to see your responsibility. And focus on love. <laughs> it makes sense. You have responsibility too. And too much of it. This is a perfect card. Because I can see that you have so much responsibility. And you take on so much. Too much. And it weighs you down. And now you just want to escape. Alright. 
and focus on love for a little while, a little bit of a love for yourself to get some touch and some, you know, whatever it's called. You know what it is. Um, intimacy. All right. That's it. It's over. Talk to you later, Gemini.